So now in this video we're going to look at the N channel enhancement mode MOSFET switch. We have a 2N7000 right here, flat side is to the right, we got the source, the gate, the drain, and we have an LED right there, long lead the anode to the 220 ohm resistor, positive supply, short lead, the cathode to the uh, drain right there. The uh, middle pin, the gate, we have going across to these two jumpers, it's in the off position right now. There's five volts at the power supply right now. If I move the jumper to the positive supply, that turns it on. Now, you'll notice we can go directly to the power supply. The gate is kind of like a capacitor. It takes a brief amount of current to charge and a discharge in a sense but uh, a brief amount of current moves, but then that's it. It just looks at the voltage and hardly any uh, current is needed for that. And uh, so you can see I can easily give it a uh, false triggering and it can uh, hold a charge over time too. So what we can do is take a resistor and if we want the normal position to be off, like you see now, we can go to the negative supply right there. That will hold it off even if I tried to falsely trigger it, that's a 10,000 or 1,000 ohm resistor. Yeah, 10,000 ohm resistor. It's red. The camera's not picking it up though. And uh, red stripe. There you can see, now we got the transistor on until I remove it. And it's preventing it from falsely triggering. Or we can have it so that it's uh, naturally on like that. And uh, I can't uh, falsely turn it off. But I can go to the negative supply, much more powerful than a uh, resistor going to the other supply rail. And uh, there you can see it is holding it off right there. So the pull up and pull down resistor may be needed if you need to worry about falsely triggering it. And here is the schematic diagram. The uh, schematic symbol, usually they won't have the uh, letters there for the uh, pin layout. Also, when it comes to MOSFETs, and uh, JFETs as well. The uh, schematic symbols are not universal. So you'll see uh, different versions. This is the one that I like here. The uh, end channel though, the arrow is pointing away from the channel. And uh, the uh, P channel, the arrow will be pointing towards the channel. You notice we have a gap between the gate and the drain. They don't always circle it either, be aware of that. But uh, in any case, I don't have the pull up or pull down resistors on here because that is not needed for this component. You can go directly to one supply or the other. But again, if you want to reduce false triggering, you can uh, use a pull up or pull down resistor, as I demonstrated before. You go to the positive supply, the gate becomes more positive, and then we got the gap. Like I said, it's basically a capacitor, except for one side of the capacitor connects to a lot of other circuitry. So, in any case, gate's more positive, Channel is more negative, since it's end channel enhancement, that means when it gets more negative, it conducts. And uh, so it will turn on right there, as we saw before. If you go more negative to the gate, then the channel becomes positive, and then it does not conduct. It's off. And the LED resistor are in series, so they'll stop conducting. The LED will be off. Pretty straightforward. We have the uh, pin layout for the TO92 package version of this uh, component. That's all I got. And uh, so left pin's the source, middle pin is the gate, and the right pin is the drain. If you turn the flat side to the right, then the source goes down to the bottom, gate to the middle, and then the drain to the top, as we saw on the breadboard. Uh, pretty straightforward. So, in any case, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I posted on the screen, and uh, check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.